Hello, Dave. <laughs> yeah, it's I, a somber and very happy day. <laughs> I would say it's not very unusual happy. to start the show with a, a heavy sigh these days. Yeah, it's not really a new intro at all. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Okay, but okay. It's a, it's a bag of mixed emotions over here right now. Okay, all right. What's going on, buddy? What? Well, first of all, you are Dave. I'm Dave. I'm Dave. I'm Ian. This is Apex Adjacent. Um, and I have I have news. I have a, a large garage update. Okay. All right. I, I like that we're uh, quantifying it with a, a size denomination. A large garage update. It's huge. It, like maybe like 3,800 pounds huge? I think so. That's probably about right. Maybe okay. A little less than that. Okay. Um, I bought a new car today okay to me congratulations am, thank you i am the second owner okay of a uh volkswagen all track okay okay yes. I, i'm gonna pull up some pictures of a volkswagen all track okay what okay. It did what color did you get it in that weird blue or the good blue i think it's the good blue it's like the lighter blue okay the all light right blue it's the what is it the important one, the important part is that it has the brown Marrakesh leatherette interior. Okay. All right. Uh, which I was very uh, Im- excited about. Okay. Okay. Um, what is the name of the color? It is silk blue metallic. Crucially, I got the, um, the S it's a 2018 SEL. Okay. Um, and I was insistent on the SEL because I love the seats in the SEL. They are more like bolstered and supportive. Okay. Um, much more so, more than the the Saab, which is this is replacing, obviously. Okay. Um, and uh, not quite as aggressive as my seats in the in my Golf, but pretty close. Okay. Um, so great, great seats. I really like the brown uh interior color it's got like the panoramic roof um and we test drove one last week and it like we took a drive in the mountains and uh the kids fit in it perfectly it seems like it's going to fit all our junk okay um and crucially it is certified pre-owned so i have (laughs) like five more years of warranty on it okay okay um which was the most important thing yeah, only eleven thousand miles on it. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I'm super psyched about it. So I, I have several questions. Okay. okay. So yes. first of all, is this the f- is this the first car where you're only the second owner? No, I was also the second owner of my Volks of my, the other Volkswagen. Oh, the, the, the R32. R32. Yeah. Yeah. You get a new Volkswagen and you already forget what your old one was. Come on, uh-huh. Ian. Don't be that guy. Don't be that VW <laughs> owner. Yeah. Uh-huh. Trading <laughs> no, it in yeah. for a newer model. No, but th- I mean, this is the least miles I've ever had on a car by far. That was my next I mean, question. Was the mileage. Yeah. Because yeah. the the... The R32 was also like the next newest one that I had as far as mileage was concerned. Okay. And that had 65,000 miles on it when I bought it. Wow. Okay. So this is a big step. Yeah. Okay. And I've, I've never had a car with a warranty before. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I never have either. Yeah. Okay. All so right. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a brave new world over here. <laughs> So I I have so many questions. Okay. So what, what modifications are you planning on making and what modifications are you planning on making that you're not telling Jenny about? Because I think that they're going to fall into two camps. Right. So right away we're doing roof box. Okay. Uh, and, uh, I am going to try to enlist you to help me put a trailer hitch on a class one hitch on. You have to like take the bumper off. Okay. And apparently you need like two sets of hands to kind of like, right. Get it up. Yeah. Get it up in there. As, as flexy as most bumpers are. Yeah. Right. Well, not that part. It's actually the bolting it to the, ah, okay. To the hole. So they come the, the crash bar comes 
pre-drilled with holes for the bumper bar or okay. for, the, for the tow hitch. Okay. Um, but you got to like finagle it up in there. So gotcha. Anyway. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, and then, so for a, a trailer hitch for a bike rack. So, so, so those, basically you're colorado the car, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mostly because we are planning on, you know, packing everything we own in a few weeks and driving to Michigan. So Jenny's dad and stepmom can uh, watch these damn kids for us. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. So we have not been without the kids since February. Right, right. Just a long time. <laughs> um, but then, so I'm, I'm starting. I, when I committed to buying it yesterday, uh-huh. I was like, not going to modify anything. Really? That was that was the lie that I told myself. That was yesterday, Ian. I want. I'm talking to yeah. today and tomorrow, Ian, right now. Right. Well, here's the thing: is that it turns out that APR has a thing where you can. <laughs> get it tuned and not void your warranty. Right. You get it done at the VW dealership. Uh huh. Um, and I at least want to do the DSG. Okay. You, they have an APR tune for the DSG and I definitely want to get that done. Okay. Okay. I'm less sure about doing the power tune. I don't know. Um, you know, it would be nice. Yeah. The one thing I don't like about it is that it is slower than the car that I'm replacing. Sure. Kind of sucks. Sure. Uh, and it would be nice if it was as fast. Well, but also you need to remember that it is slower than the Saab, but in a way it's faster because it actually fucking moves. That's true. That's true. Yeah. And like, we don't feel afraid about driving it cross country or right to the mountains 30 miles away. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, no, absolutely. You're totally right about that. So um, I'm extremely excited about that. Yeah. I'm also, yeah. You know, I'm also a little bummed out about seeing the sob go, to be well, honest. Sure. I, I have a lot of thoughts about that, as I'm sure you do. So, yeah. So let's talk. Should we should we talk about your Tubo X? Do you have any other questions about the all track before we move on? <sighs> um. No, beyond your uh, p- potentially um, ill-advised modifications, no. <laughs> I like how you like bait me to <laughs> to do that. Then you're like, no, no, no. <laughs> I do like that they have like a, a tuning program that will still honor the warranty. That will still fall under the warranty, right? That's nice. Yeah, that that's that's Ian Kryptonite right there. Oh yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's like that's that's a big sack of taffy, like for me, right? Yeah. What would you do? What would you do for, as far as modifications for this? I I would I would definitely go for the more power and the DSG tune. But would you? Yeah, but that's me. Yeah. 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 I, I honestly, I think before that happens, I think that's a next year thing. Uh-huh. I think before that happens. Uh, a set of winter wheels and tires yeah, is yeah. definitely yep. um, in the cards for this guy. Yeah, um, yeah. Get those uh, uh, Hakapletas that PETA runs. I think they have the R3s out now. That Those studless things on, on this thing would crush winter time, Ian. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I can't wait. So. I, I would be looking forward to snow if I were you. Like, Well, and here's the other thing. It has a real handbrake. Oh, no way. Okay. It has a real lever. I have not, I don't know if it's actually connected to anything or if it's a switch. I wish so it find d- out. No, <laughs> no. God damn it. No. As soon as it snows. Ian, the, you, this is a nice car. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Don't pull the handbrake while you're moving. I have pulled handbrakes in all sorts of cars. Uh, yeah. It, that were rentals and you didn't have to keep. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> that your, that your, that your wife and children didn't have to get in the next day. Now I'm starting to understand why the Tubo X is in the condition it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> fair enough. Well, for so let, let me, let me make sure that this goes without mistake absolutely congratulations and thank you and also 
I think that we, I, I want to talk about this because um, it is mixed emotions. And so I want to yeah. get, I want to get back to that after we kind of do like a, a like you were, you suggested an in memoriam for uh, the turbo X, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so let's talk about your turbo X. It is a 2008 Saab nine, three sport combi, which is Swedish for wagon. Yes. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. My, Bla- my, my dearly departed turbo X. So I have spent the last, I want to say year kind of being like, I can't wait to get rid of this thing. And now that I know it's leaving, uh-huh. I drove it home today from the dealership. Like, Oh, it's so fast and it sounds pretty good and it's really pretty. It does sound good and it does look good. I I really enjoy the way this car looks. Yeah. A few people at the dealership said something to me about it. Like they were like, I love like, you know, they were looking at like lines of it or whatever. And they were like, I've never seen that before. I've never seen that car before. I was like, yeah, because there's 130 of them in the country. Right. Right. Yeah. Now, yeah. And so if you're listening to this and you sound like you are thinking like, wow, 280 horsepower, all wheel drive wagon with a big turbo. Uh I should buy one of those. You should just not this one. (laughs) Don't buy this one. Ian, so much stuff has fallen off of this thing. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the headlight washers covers. No, no, that's, that's how no that's how they're supposed to be oh okay okay the yeah, those are fine the only thing on the front that's damaged or m- not damaged that's missing is the uh, is the badge right off the front of the grill there right and then where's the sob logo emblem oh it's there it's just faded oh, okay gotcha it's like cloudy just like the headlights are gotcha okay also i didn't know you were a guy that just left the dealer license plate thing on ian that's not the dealer I that's mean, the, that's where I get it. That's where I get it serviced. I feel like, uh, I should yes, I feel like I should rep the indie, uh, the indie sob shop. Yes. Indie yes. Indie. Okay. I completely endorse this. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Gosh. Okay. That was a conscious decision. Gotcha. Okay. I'm, I'm behind it. I'm behind it. Okay. Okay. So the, the, the very iconic turbo gauge. Yes. Mists as well. Did you know Saab made a wristwatch with that? They did. Yeah, let's did see. Sell well? Uh, no. <laughs> Saab did it tur- overheat and burn people's wrists? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No. It was, of course, just very cheap and gimmicky. You know. Yeah. That's yeah. cool, though. Right. Yeah. I kind of want one. I know, right? I kind of do too. Right. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I should have it to like. You know, I I feel bad getting rid of this car. I really. Do. I, I, I always feel like whenever I get rid of a car, I want the gauge cluster like framed on my wall, right? right? Like you spend right. so much time looking at the gauge cluster. Like, I don't know that like, it's just seared into your, like when you look at a bright light for a little bit and then look away and you still, you see the negative image of it. Like those gauge yeah. clusters are just burned into our eyes, yeah. you know? Yeah, absolutely. It looks good. It looks really good. It's just a nice, simple design. I like that the speedo goes to 160. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and you can get fairly close to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not well, that I would know. Not that you would know. Okay. All right. Um, but, you know, now, you know, in the mem- in memoriam section, so if this was like the, you know, the Emmys or whatever. Right. Right. And someone was talking over some very floaty music or whatever they would talk about dun, dun, dun. the good times they would talk about bum, the, bum, the sound bum. of the exhaust as you did a cold start it's pulled away from a light surprise someone in a slammed Honda Civic or the time you drove it cross country when you first got it flying to Virginia and cannonballing all the way back to Colorado with it. super excited for it's a transport your brand new baby. And then it would probably show some disappointing times. Like the rest of them. Like the time that um, I overheated going over uh, a, a mountain pass with a friend in the car. And when I stopped and 
let the car cool and put some coolant in. <laughs> the coolant then opened up in the trunk and soaked his luggage. And he spent <laughs> the next week smelling like antifreeze at his work conference. That's you true. never told me about that. That's a true story. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Or the time that my wife called me in a panic because there was a large amount of, I'm going to say, I'm going to say like a, a steam locomotive amount of steam coming out from underneath the hood. And it turned out that one of the coolant hoses had broken directly above the turbo and was just spraying <laughs> coolants uh, to a very hot turbo. Yeah. yeah. Foom, foom, foom. <laughs> or the time that um, the fuel pump failed and I had to get a new fuel pump and in order to get to the fuel pump you have to drop the rear axle Jesus and Christ and everything else from the back of the car <laughs> you have to go in through the sunroof <laughs> <laughs> right yeah to get to the yeah. lug nuts bah, bah, bah. but I will miss having a car that nobody else has yeah I absolutely miss that boom 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 but at least i didn't end up in a subaru at least you didn't end up in a subaru and and fiend and fiend thank you dave thank you dave for the assist <laughs> you're welcome at least you didn't end up in a subaru i mean at least you didn't make it to several destinations because you didn't end up in a subaru yeah better not to show up at all <laughs> than to show up in a subaru what i always say you'd rather Sorry. push a sob than drive a subaru yes <laughs> yes ian the it, it looks it looks so good mm -hmm. it it i mean it had tons of interior space i mean look at that man like there's a yeah. stroller in the back there and it's not even making a freaking dent right no yeah it 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 is pretty it, it was a nice big car the rear seat space was not great right um, but you could fit a rear feet a rear facing seat in it right yes it was not comfortable it was not super comfortable in the front like a six foot tall person could not sit in front of a rear facing car seat last um, time i checked I, you and jenny were not six feet correct which is why it was fine for us right 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 um yeah no i mean it serves well we it it you know got us to the midwest and back several times you know, we had it for six years. Right. Uh, right. You know, we didn't really put that many miles on it, to be honest. Well, because had, it was always getting fucking repaired. Ian. <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. But go on. Go on. Well, go I mean, I would say we just don't drive that much. It's part true. Of it. but, true. Uh, you know, we don't have like a daily commute. Right. Right. So, so if we didn't you put that many miles on it. Right. Um, and when it was working. Right. Man, it was so cool. Yes. Yes. It just wasn't working that often. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Like the cool to reliability ratio was just way out of whack. It was like way too high. For right. A family car. Right. Right. Yeah. Wh what do you think strikes a good balance for that cool to reliability ratio? Because I feel like the all track does. Yeah, but I think they're they're pretty it's ubiquitous. Not very cool, uh, right? Right. Um, I think if I made it worse, it would be cooler. Okay. Like if I lowered it, it'd be cooler. <laughs> oh. I I think my N M forty five hit the reliability cool factor pretty well. Yeah, yeah, mm. I think so. I think like a or like a, I think the kind of the the newest car that I can think of that would that was like right in the perfect sweet spot for that would be like the chevy ss yeah 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 just right. straight in the pocket right mm -hmm. yeah um that's that's kind of right there in the thing this is the all track is i'm excited it's a nice car right and it it's i don't but it's like not nearly as pretty as this one no no and um it's definitely less cool it is it is less cool so, so I, I, I want to talk about like you parting with the sob because I think it, you know, we, we talked about this on a show forever ago that you were talking about, um, idealism versus 
prag how do you say it pragmatist uh pragmatism pragmatism thank you right because the saab is an idealist car right mm -hmm. and your replacement volkswagen is definitely pragmatic right definitely yeah. realistic like yeah. rubber meets the road right and mm -hmm. when you when you f like you mentioned when you sought out the Saab, you fell in love with the idea of the Saab. Yes. Right. And I think that in one of the reasons that it was so hard for you to give up the Saab and to, to move on to something else, I think it, there were tons of factors. First of all, having a kid in a rear facing seat is a, is a big factor, right? And also being someone who's never going to buy an SUV who lives in the city, who wants something yeah. smaller, right? So you have all those factors. But also, I think that it was as hard as it was to give up the the features of the car, it's hard to give up on the idea of the car as well. Yeah. No, that's absolutely true. And I think at this point, it's just, I know that I'm not going to be able to put the resources into that car to make it what it deserves to be like, I, I do genuinely hope that it finds its way into the hands of a dedicated enthusiast who wants to take it apart and fix it. Right. And, right. And put the research, but like as a daily driver for a family with two small kids, it's just not realistic. Right. Especially with how old it is and the, like the speed at which things are breaking now. Right. Is, it's impossible to keep up with. Yeah. So I will, miss the idea of this car for a very long time absolutely and you should you should yeah. yeah i get that that is completely justifiable and i think that one of the things that we have to reconcile is that our ideas of a, of a car don't meet reality sometimes and that's really difficult to swallow yeah you know yeah and, I think, yeah, and, I, and you know the reality is that i have x amount of resources and X amount of things that I need to do with those resources. And I would rather do, I would, I'm now at the point where the idea of that car is not important enough to me. More important. It's not more important to me than the other things on that list. Right. So, right. Yeah. That's so now it's got to go. Bye. bye. Right. But you're right. I mean, the list of cars that could have replaced it was really small. Right. Because right. We had really narrow things like, we wanted all wheel drive. We wanted a wagon. So that's like three cars. <laughs> right. It. Right. Um, right. So, yeah. Anyway, I, I, I'm still disappointed that you didn't just like buy a Mazda five. What's the, what's the weird Mazda minivan? The Mazda five. Yeah. The Mazda five. And then just fucking swap a, uh, Mazda speed three drivetrain into it. And, um, destroy everyone <laughs> yeah i mean sure but first of all they don't make that car anymore it says the owner of a sob okay <laughs> uh -huh. well i'm trying not to repeat that same mistake at again. least well, they don't make the all track anymore <laughs> at least mazda is still in business Ian. <laughs> yeah right i know i know right but i'm trying to learn from my mistakes and you're doing a good job at it you're doing it. So, so uh, the all track is not what you would uh, imagine as your forever car. Right. But no, the, but you're picturing this as your next five year car, right? Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm hoping we would get to replace it with either like something electric or a Volvo or something nice. Right. Right. I don't know. We'll yeah. see. Okay. Okay. Um, I will say though, that it brings me, to an FMK cars. FMK cars is the game that Ian and Dave play on the apex adjacent podcast. And even though the world is shit and we're barely clinging on to anything, sometimes we just have to distract ourselves and play a goddamn game of FMK cars. Correct. Correct. Um, while I introduce this, would you mind just sh putting up on the screen just one last time, the two shot of my, so one of these is, Oh the yeah. 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 Sorry. Uh, I it's, no, yep. no, it's on there. I just want to, I just want to gaze at it. There it is. Yeah. Honestly, I will never have a two car garage as cool as this again. <laughs> and I, I just want to luxuriate in it for a minute. 
Turbo X. Yep, because the R fell off, Ian. The R <laughs> fell off. Oh, the Tubo. The Tubo X, man. Yep, someday, like 30 years in the future, somebody's going to show up at a Cars and Coffee with a mint one of these and people are going to blow their asses out. You, right. you, like, you will send me whatever telepathic message protocol we have at the time. And you'll be like, yep. get down here. And I'll be like, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I played, I played space golf in my space Lexus. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the, like, the, uh, the winner at the, uh, uh, at Pebble Beach. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, right. Like 2070. Yep. Someone's going to have a mint one. It'll yep. be this car, but someone will have found the uh, uh, <laughs> owner's manual that someone stole out of the glove box. Ian, do you know what you are at, at this point? You're the before pictures. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's fine. <laughs> In the, That's all, fine. The, all those build books that they have, here's, I mean, here's what it lo- would look like when we dragged it out of the barn. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I, that's fine. I mean, honestly, storing a car in a barn for 30 years must be less destructive than having two small children. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Even if there's like a couple feral cats loose in the barn. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. This FMK cars is called one for all and all for, Oh dear God, please don't let this car be unreliable. (laughs) Cars with all in the name. So this is sort of inspired okay. by, uh, we have a, a, a Sunday tradition where we listen to the, the puzzle, the, the NPR puzzle on uh, Sundays. Okay. Uh, they do like word games. Gotcha. Uh, so all of these cars have the word all somewhere in the name. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, so the first one is a 2004 Lamborghini Gallardo. Okay. G A L L Gallardo. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Now there is a catch. Okay. And the catch is you have to transport whenever you drive it, all of your bicycles with it. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. How many bicycles do you think I own right now? You you can't like, what do you, this is, (laughs) However many you own is how many you have to transport. Right. I don't know. I just want to know how many bikes you think I have right now. Five. Oh, wait. Hang on. (laughs) (laughs) I have four. I have have four bicycles. Four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 So the next one, Uh 1964 De Tommaso. Uh, and see now it's tricky because he grew up in Argentina, but then it's a Italian company. Uh, Va- Vallelunga, V A L L E L U N G A. Okay, all right. It's uh, very pretty car. Oh wow! Okay, okay, all right. Uh, okay, it's gorgeous. Yeah, look at that. Okay. All right. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Yeah. Okay. You have to transport all of your electronics. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right. Oh, my God. Strapped up to the roof. You can drag drag (sighs) your five-year-old MacBook Pro behind you, whatever you got to (laughs) do. All right. My pulse is going up just thinking about that. Right. You could have got to, like, unhook it all and then pack it up. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 So then I'm going to be honest. Um, I really started this off with like a full head of steam and then, and then quickly realized that there weren't that many cars with all in the name. Sure. So this one, stay with me. 2005 Voxel. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, Cause Voxel has all in it. VXR 220. Oh, I know exactly what this is. Yeah. Right? The VXR. Yeah. This was. Yep. Okay. The the Saturn. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. So you do have a twist with this one, but I know that this car is slightly less desirable. Sure. But all you have to transport is all the whiskey you think I'll need for one week. 
for one week. Okay. 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 All right. I... I'm going to marry the Lamborghini. Really? You're going to marry a Lamborghini and stick four bicycles on it? I am because, because remember those suction cup mounts that we saw at the auto show? I'm going to have like two off to the side and (laughs) two like straight up. And then, and then (laughs) the bike comes up and then (laughs) when you, when you're in a parking lot, no one will park next to you. Oh, okay. okay so you're, gonna put your, like, your cheapest bikes on the side. Yes, yes, yeah, and yeah. You're basically, like the pads on a side of a on the or like the floaties on the side of a boat to just like, yep. You just park it right up against the dock. Yep. Spare tires on a tugboat. I'll have a couple huffies added to the collection. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Um, also, um, uh, let me Google this real quick. Uh-huh. Uh. Uh, Lamborghini, Ga- Gallardo, Gallardo, bike rack. Look, go for bike rack. Yeah. <laughs> Let's look at Google images. Yeah. It looks like these folks like do the, uh, yeah. yeah the suction mounts. Yeah. Okay. But uh, I mean, that's one bike. Right. Right. I do like this one that I've, this picture that I've seen before, bec- like Lamborghini owner and BMX enthusiast. I love that those like of all, of all bikes stuff. That's, How that's where it crosses. How flat is that brim? It, like you can, it, right. You can, you can mount shelves using that as a reference. <laughs> yes. That flat. yes. You're exactly right. You could frame a house. Yeah. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, okay, so you're going to marry the Lamborghini. What else? What are you going to do next? So I have to kill the De Tomaso. Oh, I okay. do because I, you know, me and my electronics and all the stuff and how much that would kill me. The fact yeah. like, you know, like Ian within my reach right now. Like I just happen to have, I haven't listened to it for like a week. I just happen to have an iPod that I rebuilt. Remember my little iPod? Oh yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. So this kind of stuff just shows up around me. I just, it just like, I, I'm like pig pin in Charlie Brown, but with like w- <laughs> ethernet yeah. cables. Yes. Yes. Ian. And they're not new. They're old. And oh, yeah. And I'm really picky about them. But yeah. so like that, like that stuff, like having to transport all my electronics, I could never be an electronic minimalist. Like that would be so hard for me. Like those people that just get by with like a laptop in their life. And it's like, what, how do you live? Or I mean, people, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or the people that just have a phone or just an iPad, like, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're killing me. <laughs> So then for a day, I would take the Vauxhall and, and your whiskey, right? Mm -hmm. And so this is all your whiskey for a week, right? Okay. So I think we'd have to make some kind of game out of it because you're a bad passenger, right? Uh, Yeah. I'm a, I'm wondering what a drunk Ian would be like, or a tipsy Ian as a passenger. Would you think you would be a better or worse passenger? Uh, probably better. You think you'd be better. Okay. Yeah, I do. Okay. I, I did drive you in the Viggen when you were a little tipsy after your birthday that one time. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. True. Right. I'd, I'd say you had a solid buzz at that time. Mm-hmm. Right. That's fair. That's a fair assessment. Right. Yeah. You know, you weren't sloppy. Yeah. Right. Right. And, um, and you enjoyed, you were, sc- you were yelling turbo noises in the back of, of the big end. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All okay. right. How, now, now here's the real question. How much whiskey do you think I drink in a week? In a week? Um, I think, well, okay. Is this COVID era or non-COVID era? Let's go with COVID era. Okay. Let's go with worst case scenario. Okay. Worst case scenario. And let's say this is the only drink, like you're not supplementing with wine or anything. All right. Okay. I'd, I'd say you put back maybe half to three-fourths of a standard bottle in a week. Yeah, probably a little less than that. 
that. Yeah, that. yeah. It's not that much. I I was just curious if you thought like seven oh, no, models. Case. <laughs> yeah. 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 No. No, it's not crazy. No. Yeah. Okay. Of course. Of course, Ian. I know. I know. <laughs> yes. Yes. You haven't. We're we're men of many vices. Thankfully, that's not it. Right. Yes. Exactly. Right. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Well, that was fun. Well. I'm very, uh, I'm very happy to uh, welcome the all track into the apex adjacent garage, right? We've yeah, g- we well. we have it. The Luther is no longer the newest member, right? This is the this is the newest and lowest mileage car to ever be inducted. It's true. Yep. It's true. Yep. yep. Okay. Well, I'm ex- I'm excited about it. We're we're yep. going to need to get together a family photo. We do need to do that. Yeah, we've we never need to get like a fleet photo. Yeah, we've never taken a picture of all four of our cars together. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Huh, I it, feel like we should I wish we could make a I have to go I think I have to go give it back tomorrow, but it occurred to me today when I was driving back that it would be nice to get a picture we we never got a picture of the Turbo X and the Big End at the same time. Right. Right. Yeah, we should have made that happen, but we should have. We'll You'll just have to Photoshop it. I will. I will. Right. Yeah. 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 In my opinion, the best of what Saab made and then the most idealistic of what Saab made. You can say worst. It's no, fine. no, I, I don't think it's the worst. Ian, they made the nine four. That's true. Right. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. 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 Okay. A Chevy tra- Trailblazer and a Chevy Trax. Trax. Yeah. Yeah. The oh. little one. The little ah. one. Yeah. Yeah. I saw one the other day. Yeah. Yeah. There's a couple of them rolling around Denver, which is nuts. Yeah. The fact that they're still moving. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What What do you think you would do? And instead of taffy or, or instead of whiskey for a week, it's like maybe my monthly like carb sweet allowance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um i think i would probably marry i think i would marry the lamborghini okay all right you have what two bicycles so is it the bicycles that belong to me or my whole family i i would go just you okay so yeah i have but, two bicycles but if someone else in your family is in the car their bike has to go too okay so i i have i have two bicycles Everyone else has one bicycle. Okay. Okay. Um, and then I would for a day drive the day Tommaso because it's just super rad. Right. Okay. And all your electronics do fit in there. The biggest thing you have is like your home lab server. Right. I think I would. I think we can exempt televisions. Yes. Just from yes. Size. Yes. But everything else, I could. I could probably make it squeeze in. I think I have more than I give myself credit for sometimes now that I'm kind of looking around and stuff. <laughs> That's what happens. Yeah. Well, cause yeah. I also have like switches, right? You know? Yeah. Uh, like work stuff. So yeah. Yeah. Probably would have to, it'd be a squeeze, but it's so cool. It is. Yeah. The back end is funky looking. Mm-hmm. It almost looks like the hot. front. Yeah. Sun. <laughs> that big ass window. <laughs> yeah. Right odd huh okay okay nice buddy nice yeah okay okay oh yeah so then i would crush the voxel sure sure and my and my taffy carb allowance for the month i'm sorry Uh, i'll find fritter somewhere it's fine i know i know you will (laughs) life will find a way (laughs) it will it will shows up life by the way Uh uh-huh yep yep Okay. All right. Ian, mm-hmm. you, in addition to picking up another Volkswagen, so now it is officially a problem. Okay. Yes. It's moved from a habit to a problem. Okay. Uh-huh. You took your other Volkswagen somewhere. I did. I did. I went to a track day. Okay. Uh, with my trusty R32. Uh-huh. Uh, and I met up with our good friend of the show, uh, PETA. Yep. Uh, with his uh, purpley M3. Uh-huh. And I have to say, I had a blast. First of all, it was 
other than going to the record store on my birthday. It was the first time since March that I was out of the house without children and not like running an errand. Okay. Okay. Or, like getting a coffee for 10 minutes. Like this is the, this is the longest I've been out of the house by myself since March. Okay. Uh, it was glorious. Okay. All right. And we had so much fun. Our little cars, I don't know, like the, our mix of cars and driving ability and knowledge of the track or whatever mean that they're very evenly matched. Okay. You just kind of run together. Like the first heat we were in, we were in traffic and I kind of got away from PETA a little bit. Okay. Um, and, but then like the last, two sessions of the day we had so much fun running right next to each other. Like, uh, especially I had a lot of fun, uh, being behind him. Okay. Peter, because his car is a bit faster. Uh huh. And by that time of the day, like he had kind of like figured out his line a little bit and like, cause this is only a second time ever on the track with him. Right. On high plans. Um, and it was just so much fun chasing that car around. Cause it's, it's like a little bit faster than mine, but not so much faster than mine. That right. It disappears. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was great. Okay. And, it and was, it's just the best. And everything held up well, all mechanicals. Yeah, I have a little bit, I had a little bit of an issue because I got different. So I got new rotors and pads. Okay. Um, my big maintenance extravaganza that I did. Yes. Um, and uh, I don't think I quite bedded the pads properly. Uh. So I had some weirdness with the pads as they like, you know, rebedded in. And so it's, that was a little, I had to manage that a little bit. Okay. Uh, but everything else ran fine. Everything else ran great. Um, you know, didn't, didn't overcook the tires or anything like that. Okay. Uh, Peter's car was just a champ. Yes. All day. Like it ran great. He said, the, you know, the brakes felt great. Yep. Cooling was awesome. Like he's done was, so much work to that. Yeah. Yeah. It just pounded around. Yeah. And like, I would come in, I came in to like drive around to cool off my brakes. Sure. And he get out. Like, oh, okay. Full session. Okay. Yeah. Um, I will say too that we had the helmet radios that we were u- that we've been using for for karting. Yes, and when you're running together, you can easily use them. Okay, okay. I, once I kind of like in the first session, I kind of got away from him and through traffic. Uh-huh. Uh huh. We it started to break up and kind of came in and out, and then we you know a couple times we got really separated. Okay. Um, and they did not work on opposite ends of the track. Sure. At all. Sure. Um, but it was so fun to like have like a conversation, um, you know, next, like, like he was sitting next to you. Yeah. And, like, not having to shout. Yeah. Was, like, awesome. Yeah. I mean, it, as much as it's changed karting for us, like I can't imagine karting without a helmet radio with you now. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah, there was a lot less like me yelling dive bomb. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, of course, because the stakes are a touch higher. Yeah. But, you know, even like, you know, at one point I passed him. Um, so, like, he uh, took a little too much speed into the chicane, the, like the downhill yeah. chicane that goes up onto the pit straight. Um, and so I got a, like a much better exit out of there. And I was like taunting him. Like, I'm, I'm going, like, Turning into that chicane, I was like, I'm going to have you. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that was fun. Nice. Uh, nice. And then like, you know, he like talking about line and breaking points and, and all that. And like specific corners as we were driving around was a lot of fun. Absolutely. And plus like, so, uh, you know, High Plains instituted some rules for COVID track day fun. Right. Yes. Hey, um, yeah. Having helmet radios, like, at, like there's your social distance right there. You just talk to each other on helmet radios all day, right? Yeah. You know? We could have, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we, I, I uh, when it was just PETA and I, 
we sat under that. So I brought that awning. Uh huh. Yep. So we sat mostly masks off underneath that. Sure. Because it was very windy. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a 10 mile an hour breeze just constantly. So we just like sat facing into the wind and, yeah. and, and chatted in the shade because we were like drinking water and eating snacks and stuff. Exactly. Right. And then if we had to go into the pits for anything, into the paddock or anything, we had masks, masks on, and then we had helmets in the car. Um, they did a pretty good job. I'd give their protocols like a, a B. Okay. So like the, uh, check-in protocols were all much better and much smoother, like, you know, at the gate and then sure. the driver's meeting, they really tried to keep everyone away. And pretty much everyone was wearing a mask at the meeting, but it was all outside anyway. Okay. I think the only thing that I wasn't super thrilled about was we had to go into the trailer to get our wristbands. Oh, they should have done that outside. They should have done it outside. And I know they had to use the computer or whatever, but they should have at least like throttled the number of people that were in the trailer. Uh, so everyone just kind of like formed a big line. Okay. So like, we tried to kind of distance and we were, everyone was wearing masks. At sure. Least, but, sure. Um, so that I think the one thing that could have used improvement and I wish that they would have been more like put your mask on. You know? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're asking a lot of people in this era that have never had to have that kind of responsibility of enforcing mask rules. And so right. my, my heart goes out to all those folks that have to enforce this kind of stuff nowadays. Yeah. No, that's a good point. You know? For sure. Yeah. Right. But yeah, it was awesome to get out there and hound around and uh, goof off with PETA. Um, I did, I will say I did try to sit in his car Okay, and, it is full on uh, RX seven race car. Gotcha. Yeah. I have to stretch to use the clutch and, um, the, the cowl, like the top of the instrument panel uh-huh. is like here. Okay. Like, I cannot drive that car. It, I don't fit. That's in. too bad. That's too bad. Yeah. D- did you take a lap as the passenger in his car? I didn't. No. Okay. We didn't get a chance to do that, but I'm hoping next time we can do that. Sure. Sure. Um, yeah. Cause he, he, he rode along with me last time we were at the track. Yep. Yep. In fall. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't get a, a chance to do that, but I, I wish I did. It, it is the greatest handling car I've ever driven. Yeah. Period. I can't wait. I mean, I it's, wait it's ridiculous how dialed that car is. Yeah. 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 So that's, I'm really thankful that you guys got to have that time. You know, our, our buddy PETA has put tons of work into that. You've, you've yep. paid your mechanic to put tons of work into your car. <laughs> it's nice seeing your car with both headlights again. Yeah. The headlights are great. Yeah. yeah we're great. <laughs> um, okay. Awesome, buddy. Awesome. Yeah. I'm, lo- I'm looking forward to being able to get back out on the track, maybe sometime late October, early November. Yeah. 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 Got to see how stuff goes. Yeah. A lot of irons in the fire over here, man. Yeah. 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 Sure do. Yeah. So yeah, man, that's awesome. So high plains COVID track day success. Absolutely. Success. Okay. Good. uh, Nothing broke. Uh, we ran every session and, um, the having bring in your shade, bring in my own shade was, uh, yeah. was a bit of a game changer. That was really nice. That's clutch, man. That's clutch. Yeah, it was great. Um, so yeah, I, absolutely. And doing the morning session was nice because it, we didn't get, by the time it got hot, it was time to go home. Gotcha. So, gotcha. Um, it was nice to actually do in the morning session. Good. Yeah. I'll the- say, so I will say the one thing that was funny was that I had originally signed up to be in the fast group. Right. But then I realized, oh, there's SCCA races <laughs> this weekend. And okay. I was like, I'm going to go ahead and just knock myself back down. And I'm glad I did. Because I, I think we were probably among the faster people in the slow group. Okay. Um, there was a, in this, also in the slow group, there was someone doing a shakedown on their C30 race car. Oh, Jesus. Okay. C30 like cup car. No way. Um, yeah so fast okay uh, and then there was a couple there was some like 911s and stuff like that uh we passed a cayman okay uh, you know so we were kind of, and then there were some people like shaking down lemons cars because there's lemons race coming out right out there as well 
Uh, so we were definitely faster than the Lemons car. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, but yeah, it was a good mix, and I'm, I'm glad I was in that group because um, otherwise it would have been like all like Z06s and right. Porsche turbos and GT3s and craziness. Right, right. Yeah. The, uh, how was the density? How many people do you think were on the track with you at a given time? Like, how big were the heats? Yeah, I think the first group, the first heat, there's probably 30 ish cars. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then that kind of like tapered out towards the end. You know, sure. There's always, there's always some attrition. Yep. Um, towards the later sessions in, in the in the morning. Um, but then there was a bunch of people coming in for the afternoon. Sure. Sure. Uh, um, cool, yeah. cool. Coolest car you saw all day. What do you think? Um, so there was a really kind of rad, uh, Pontiac Bonneville from like the eighties that was, had like a huge front mount and a huge turbo setup. No and, like crazy cambered front wheels. Yeah. What? Um, and then um, there was a guy there who had an Audi 90. Oh, he came by to talk to me for a while because he has a VR6 swap in it. Oh, no way. Okay. And he, but he spun a bearing because he, uh, he overheated it. No. He, yeah. He's having a really hard time. It's, it's a VR6 mounted. Yeah. Uh, longitudinally. Yeah. Yeah. Mounted longitudinally in an Audi 90 with Quattro. Whoa. Uh, yeah really cool um and it's a vr6 from um a a, Go, a, a jetta okay it's not r32 version gotcha it's like the 2.7 i think okay and okay it, it wasn't he he couldn't get it to stay cool and it overheated and uh, uh. let the smoke out but it's pretty cool okay okay yeah and the- then that Volvo was super cool awesome man that's awesome. Okay. Arrow and the whole thing. Nice. Nice. Um, any uh, scary moments? Code Browns? Anybody go off and spin? Uh, a pita spun, he said. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I missed it. I didn't have any offs at all. Okay. Uh, there was a guy. So there was a guy in a Mustang GT who was very slow and was very kind of scary because he kept like, like cutting over oh. uh, across the line to try to get out of the way. Gotcha. Um, and it was like, he was just really unpredictable. And then he, his car died up on. Oh uh, no. Where we, so when we did that lemons race. And then yeah. Really crash. Yeah. Um, so that was a little sketchy. And then we saw him, off, <laughs> we saw him on the side of the, of the road waiting for a tow truck on the way home. Ah, oh. it was a, not a good track day for that guy. Partly because everyone was yelling at him, like, right, ah, moving offline. Right, right. That makes me think of the Nissan GTR owner that we saw at like the first Emic track day we went to that, like, was not letting anyone pass him, even though they had no idea what that car could do. Yeah. yeah. There was a few, there was a few people like that. Like, there was a guy in the came in a Cayman, an older Cayman. And, you know, like, I looked at him and I, he was like, he was kind of, a little bit of an older guy. He looks like, you know, someone who would come up and give you tips whether you wanted to or not at yep. an SDA event. Yes. Yep. And then we got on on track and he was just like, he was just like barreling into corners, like way too fast. Okay. Just scrubbing off all his speed. Um, and, you know, really like just missing apexes and like screwing up his line totally. And then I would, I just like, blew right past him and he kind of looked at me like what <laughs> yeah 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 and i was like i knew that was gonna happen two corners ago. Like, <laughs> what you were doing. exactly what, was, what you were gonna do you did it and now this is happening <laughs> right yeah 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 you're soaking in it yeah uh-huh. right yeah yeah consequences mm-hmm. yeah. yeah you wrote this story two corners ago <laughs> I understand the one you had in your head was different. <laughs> this yeah. is the one that you wrote down. Yeah. Yeah. Up up top, you're thinking Turbo X on the street. Uh, <laughs> yeah. On the streets, yep. though. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. Okay. Well, nice, buddy. Nice. 
That's good, man. Yeah. I'm I'm so, glad you got a track day. I'm glad you got to blow off some steam. Yes, it was it was it was awesome. Nice, and dude. I'm happy I took off work to go do it. It was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. You know, I I think that like with with everything that's happening, everything that's just all all the awful stuff that's happening, like we it's hard to find a balance between distraction and kind of allowing things to process and like staying motivated, you know, like work and and family and home and all that stuff, you know. And so like times like this are important. So I'm I'm glad you took that time for yourself, Ian. You know? Yeah, it was it was such a like a just a, a nice palate cleanse reset. Right. Right. We and we've said the same thing about carting. Like we can't really think about anything else when we're carting, you know? Right. Yeah. It's the only thing it's the one thing in my life where like I cannot think of anything else. I cannot multitask. Right. Um, which is very nice. Yeah, for sure. Nice, buddy. That's good. That's good. Nice. Um I do not have a track day, but I, I've just been, I've been driving around a lot more often, Ian. I've been dr- rolling Luther around, buddy. And how's Luther doing? Still all good in the cooling department? Uh, it's, it's running a little warm. So I have an, I have a new radiator and then there's some, uh, temperature switches I need to check. So, okay. I, okay. I have a whole bunch of work queued up for Luther. So we're doing, we're doing spark plugs. We're doing radiator. I'm preemptively replacing the alternator. Um, like all, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. all right. I like it. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I was going to ask you like, what maintenance thing do you have on like, what's the maintenance schedule on the, uh, all track look like? Do you have the book? Yeah. So I don't yet. Um, I will review that, but right now, basically the, the headline is like every 10,000 miles it has to go in for service. Okay. All right. That's covered under warranty. Okay. Uh, for the next five years. So, okay. Um, so that's going to be the, the schedule for now. Okay. Um, so, and then whatever I break, I'm sure we'll supplement that. Sure. 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 And what 5,000 miles per oil change. Yeah. I think it's, um, I think it might actually be longer than that. But that's probably what I'll end up doing. That's usually where where I where I end up being. So, right, right. Um, I will be paying very close attention to that DSG service interval. To yeah, see if they try to pull some lifetime bullshit on me. See, there you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then like, and the hall decks. I mean, because I mean, one nice thing is that like it's all very familiar. Right. You know everything. You know, and I know like the DSG. Like it's the same thing that my parents have in their sot wagon right from 2008 so like i i'm feeling and they've been, been making that 1.8 for i mean to say 147 years so. right exactly exactly so I'm, I'm feeling feeling okay about it okay good 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 i i think that like with like like all of the stuff that we're managing right now having that kind of stuff removed from your plate like taken off your plate is going to yeah. be very valuable yeah absolutely you know? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I have a couple my eyes and then I want to talk to you. I, I have a license plate game for you. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. let's see here. Let's do, let's close out with the light. Well, no, no, no. Let's do the license, the plate, license game. plate game. We, we can, we can do my, my eyes next time. They're not. Okay. The gotcha. Um, okay. So let's see here. So, I took Luther in for the transmission service a little bit ago, right? And do you remember what they gave me as a loaner, Ian? It was an RX something? Oh, no, Ian. When you take an LS in for service... Oh, do you get an LS as a loaner as well? If you ask, yeah. If you if you tell them you don't want an SUV, if you say, I'd like a coupe or a sedan, this shows up, Ian. Nice. And you can shave your bottom with it. I can. Uh, yep. You can see it. You can see the grill clogged with little ginger hairs. <laughs> uh-huh. Ian, they gave me an LS 500. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ian, do you know what engine the LS 500 has? It is a five liter V8. No, Ian, it's the V6 twin turbo now. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Um, do you know the sticker price of this loaner car that they gave me? Um, 85. 92. <laughs> I love it. Right? Um, Ian. An order of magnitude more than it, what you paid for your car. It had the massaging driver's seat. Nice. Um, it had, oh man, I mean, it was, it was pretty kitted out. Not like the, not like the 600 that we saw at the auto show, but it was very kitted out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And like, Kelly and I were in it and like I was driving it and like somebody started coming over in in the lane and we're we're both just going ninety two thousand dollars ninety two thousand dollars ninety two thousand dollars no yeah I, my butt was puckered shut yeah 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 I was just making you want to take it to do a track day yes yeah right that would be hilarious yeah um but uh let's see uh what else was i gonna tell you i'm sorry i can't remember it's late for me so it fast yes it was really quick yeah you you had to it had the um frankenstein knobs up top um and oh, right. I, I, so i put it in sport plus and and uh everything picked up quite a bit on it yeah nice. it was really quick yeah yeah okay. um yeah so um so let's talk about vanity plates because I, I saw one that perplexes me and I want it. I want you to tell me what you think of it. So here you go. So this is just on a Chevy cruise and it's a, like a support the troops plate. And here's what it says. It says, clean it up. K L N it up, clean it up. Turning my ringer off. Yeah. So this begs the question, Ian, why? Yeah, it could go one of a few ways, right? Cause it could be like, it could be, um, you know, an environmentalist type thing. Okay. But, the support the troops. Right. Right. And, and it's not and on a Prius on, and the stuff on the back deck. Right. Of the thing makes me think that probably not a, a wrapped present, a wrapped. Pre- oh, this is someone's grandmother and a baseball glove. No, maybe not then. I don't know. I think there might be a hat. Okay. A hat, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Very and curious, sir. That makes me think more like clean it up, young man. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Like Tipper Gore, like parental yeah. advisory, explicit lyrics. Okay. All right. Yeah. Or it could be about corruption. Okay. Or. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. Now we're going to get to the crazy theory. The, I mean, the correct one. Uh huh. This is a pottery. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking you would say. Killed it up. You've, it you, you've you've watched ghost you've thrown a pot yes patrick swayze has embraced you uh-huh uh-huh and okay now you have to you have to throw it in the kiln right right in the kiln and fire it and then gift it to your gift another ashtray <laughs> to your 18 year old uh grandson who doesn't smoke there you go who just jewels <laughs> thanks grandma yeah exactly so like these like these kinds of vanity plates come into our view and i i've been thinking about like kind of this grand unified theory of vanity plates where i want to chart all of this out and i need i need some help determining the axes of like the gartner magic quadrant of vanity plates it's gonna start. It's gonna. Like, you're gonna end up looking like Charlie from It's Always Sunny. I am. I am. <laughs> Talk about the mail. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So and le- let me give you I an. Thought e- of another one for this one. Okay. So, okay. So this could also be uh, someone who's really into pool. Hmm. Shooting billiards. Clean the table. Okay. Nope. No. And it's and it's their reaction to someone saying, 
would you like the next game? And you, they say, okay, line it up. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> line it up. Line it up. Okay. 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 Right. Yeah. So I, I think that there's this, the, the majority of vanity plates that we see are something that like, we just look at it and we go, why? Like, who is this for? Right. And then like, there's kind of some peripheral things where um, we say like, oh, like we would never want to talk to this person. Like there's the, the plates that are, are a warning as to who that person is. Correct. Right. Yes. And, and then there's, there's this really like very diminishing tiny area where um, like, so my wife saw one recently and, uh, and the vanity plate said, I hate you all. <laughs> I mean, me too. Right. Right. So like, so there's this, like, um, I would never have it on my car. Right. But yeah. I tip my hat to you. Right. Right. Like, right. But, but that's the thing is like, you can't also, it's most of the vanity plates that would tell me that I have something in common with that person mm -hmm. also mean I can't go up and start a conversation with that person. Right. Because I wouldn't want someone to do that with me necessarily. <laughs> so the best case scenario for me acknowledging a vanity plate is a, just a, head nod. Just a that's all i can just, do just a just a, a slight grin head nod okay just a, a, a nod of recognition there you go yep yep to a fellow miserable sack of meat <laughs> right right but though that quantity of plates that you run into that's very small it's a very very yeah. much the minority of vanity plates and then, yeah, I mean, and honestly, most of them are just confusing. See, there you go. Right. Yeah. Like, I mean, like if we're dealing like with like the, like, just like say like the word cloud or like the, the volume of what we deal with confusing period. Right. right? Cause this is either an environmentalist, someone who's fighting corruption yes. or someone who is, um, in a feud with their local hobby group. Exactly. Or they run a cleaning service or they, or they're a, like a, a crazy uh, murder and they just like something that says killing it up. Well, see, that's what I was going to say is that the, my other theory is that they uh, are in a, a, a very bitter knit group. Dispute, <laughs> yes. Yes. And their nemesis has a group, a knitting group called knit up. Uh huh. And they're saying kill knit up. <laughs> I was thinking the other one would be Pearl. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Like um, okay. So like, so I, like I, I'm forming this like kind of some cloudy visualization in my head of like how to try to represent like, like it may be a scoring algorithm for a vanity plate some kind of metadata to attach to a vanity plate, right? We need to do the Doug score. Okay. Just okay. Borrow the Doug score. We, we have a couple of different metrics. Okay. Okay. This is good. This is good. I like this. Okay. And add them together. So like one of them could be. I'm, I'm writing this down. Purpose. Cla okay. Cl okay. Clarity and purpose. Clar clarity of purpose. So like basically like uh -huh. I, we are sure we know what this person means. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. You know, like where it's not open to several different interpretations. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Go like one through one through five, one through 10 on that. Okay. Let, let's just argument's sake. Let's just go, or, you know, simplicity. Let's go one through 10. Right. One through 10. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and I want to score, uh, clean it up here after I mean, that. this is a four. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Versus one that I saw of, um, oh, uh, one of those um, fucking assholes was driving around with a bunch of Trump 2020 stickers on their car and their their um, license plate said Iraq 03. Okay. So the clarity is like a nine, right? Yeah. Clarity is very high. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, and this also does not imply our affection for the plate. Correct. Okay. Because I think like... Th that needs to be another score. Right. Right. And I think, I think another metric could be, uh, um, 
like broadcasting tragedy, right? Like broadcasting your your own issues, right? <laughs> right, right, right. Like, um, like telling on yourself. Yeah, telling on yourself. Like I'm thinking like chaotic ant energy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Or like I think like the Ira- Iraq O three thing. Uh huh. You know, I think that's a little bit like very in a way sort of sadly telling on yourself. Right. Like I'd say trauma by way of DMV fees. (laughs) (laughs) By way of DMV fees. Okay. Uh Okay. Uh All right. I'm writing. So I have clarity of purpose, trauma by way of DMV fees. And then another one I was thinking of was just WTF factor. Right. Do do you think that's a valid one? Maybe. No, I think that, that that's okay. That's a little more subjective. Okay. Or, okay. I mean, all of these are super subjective. Okay. Um, and I think another one should be uh, pun, pun level. Okay. Okay. And I, I'm starting to think that maybe a high score is bad. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know what else. What else could there? I don't know what else there could be. Uh, oh, um. I, I, I mean, like whether or not like uh, the I hate you all, like what 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 about that has traction with you that would like like where like tip of the hat head nod. Right. Or should this just be like the head nod factor or I, I see you? I think I think. Uh, do I want to be friends with you? OK. 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 Friend factor. Mm-hmm. OK. OK. All right. OK. Uh, All right. Because like (laughs) if somebody I'm trying to think of somebody that had a high score of trauma by way of DMV fees, but also could register high on a friend factor with me and it'd be like Taffy Ocalypse 07. (laughs) Right. 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 Okay. Okay. All right. I, I, I think, I think we're good here. And for now, like let's, let's cook on this because I, I like, I some like categories are better, higher scored and some are better. Lower right. Scored. Right. So we, we work on that. Yeah. We may want to go with a consistent direction, right? Like when you see all those like PC graphs, like scoring graphics cards, it's like higher is better. Lower is better. Higher is better. Right. You know? Right. Okay. So I have, I have a license plate game for you all queued up. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to give you three cars and then I'm, and also three license plates. And I want you to match the plates to the car. Okay. 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 It, do you want to take these plates down? Yes. Okay. All right. Untitled notepad deploy. Yes. <laughs> Got it. Okay. The first, um, license plate that you should, you should take down is it is pretty simple. It's just a temp tag. I'm throwing a temp tag in there. Ooh. Okay. okay. All right. The, okay. s- the second license plate is, <laughs> I don't know why, is just the word trains. <laughs> trains, T-R-A-I-N-S. Okay. Trains. Okay. The third one. Choo-choo. Yeah, like choo-choo. I, I guess. Yeah. Um, the third one is bonbon. B-O-N-B-O-N. Okay. Soul coughing. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Okay. So here is Ian, the first car. It is a Jeep. What is this? Uh, that's a, um, that's just a regular Cherokee, right? Yeah. Is that on, Jeep Cherokee. On, yep. Side there? Pants. Okay. Yep. Pants. Yep. Cherokee. Yep. It's a Jeep Cherokee. Okay. Yep. All right. And, let me do tons of tab cleanup here. Yeah. Tabby cat. Tabby cat. Tabby cat. Okay. Clean it up. Okay. God, Peter's car in that purple looks so good. Okay. All right. The next car, Ian, after the uh, Jeep here is a list. Does this oh, add a tab? Oh, yeah. It didn't add a tab before. Okay. It's an El Camino, Ian. All right. Okay. On some big wheels. Not quite donk, but donk adjacent. Right? Uh-huh. Okay. okay. And then lastly here, I'm going to give you a Lincoln Town car. 
in what looks like pretty good shape. It has the chrome-ish hubcaps. They look not beaten to death, but yeah. So, okay. So there you go. So you've got a, mm. yep. This is tough, but I, I, I think I already know what I'm going to try. D- okay. Okay. I'm, I'm taking a big swing. I think. Okay. Okay. So I think the temp tag goes on the El Camino. Really? Okay. Okay. You're- and I think the trains is clearly on the, the Lincoln. Okay. And I think the Jeep says Bond Bond. Okay. Okay. You have one correct. Shit. That's okay. That's okay. Because you can't have two correct. It's either one or three or none. Right. right. I So my thinking was trains, old person. Town car. That's on the, that's on the Right. Right. The temp tag on the El Camino, that one felt the 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 most kind of a flyer. I also thought that one could definitely be Bon Bon. Okay. Okay. Um, some partly because of the coloring of the car. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Like maybe I get candy. That. Yeah. Thing, right. Like yeah. Like kind of copper on the bottom and black on the top. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then the the Jeep. I mean, I feel like it could be anything. So it, yeah. Right. It's hard to get a read on that. It is. It is. All right. All right. So how, how did I do? So you got the El Camino, right? So okay. that is the one that had the temp tag because like, if you think like, why would Dave take a picture of this El Camino? The fact that it has a temp tag is like, I mean, that's news like a September 2020 temp tag on what, a what year is this Camino? Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I was thinking. So that's why I, I did that. Okay. Well good. done. Well done. Okay. Then um then the Jeep is trains. Right? So when you first showed the Jeep, that was my first thought. Was okay. that it was gonna be the one that said trains. Okay. Okay. Trust your instincts, because, Ian. Because and I say this as someone who I have someone that I know in my life that is a train enthusiast. Uh huh. And my grandfather was a big train enthusiast. Okay. It is very dorky. Yes. To be in trains. Yes. This is also a very dorky car. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. So it's fixed. Yes. Yes. The, when okay. you go to a model train convention, it's just Jeep Cherokees. <laughs> right. 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 But it's also probably a lot of Lincoln Town cars because there's. So. Right. The, the person that I know is. Uh, that is into trains is a young hipster and he is always talking about how so like there's two uh subcultures two main subcultures oh okay trains. so there's like the old dudes who photograph the engines uh-huh and then the young hipsters who photograph the graffiti on the sides of the cars gotcha because there's like common people who tag yeah in yeah train cars, and so like they like collect essentially the those tags. Right. It's really interesting, but they're both very dorky and both like very skeptical of each other at the same right. time. Right. So that's why I was kind of torn about the trains thing. Gotcha. Okay. I, I like that those two cultures, two very divergent cultures can exist around the same subject matter. Yeah. Right. It's very funny. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. So then Bon Bon is on the town car. Bon Bon's on the town car, man. Yeah. Yeah. So like, like if we were to say, and I think, I think you're right. I think, uh, I think we may need to say like a, uh, pun level for the scoring is like the inverse pun level and friend factor, right? Like we say lower score is better, right? Cause I think a lower score is better. So clarity of purpose of bond of trains. Okay. 10. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Trauma by way of DMV. Zero. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Person's living their best life. Um, WTF factor, maybe a one, maybe a two. Yeah. yeah. Right. Pun level zero. Yeah. Right. No pun. Yeah. Right. Friend factor. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, I'll say, 
I'll say four. You'll say four? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay all right okay so that that gives us a score of 15 for the but then we got to figure out the inverse stuff okay well, i think maybe instead of friend fact i think if higher is bad right you need to say like a six you're my new enemy right right okay oh yeah yeah uh-huh yeah nemesis factor nemesis factor okay there we go okay yeah okay so I'll, I'll stick with my four. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nemesis factor four pun level. So then, uh, where a 10 is, it would be very p- punny, very punny. Okay. All right. Yeah. So this, this gets a 15. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're, lower is better. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to, we're going to work on this. We're going to work on this. Yeah. Lower, lower is better. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Nice. Nice. So, so there you go. The grand unified theory of, of vanity plates and I love it. the plate game. So there you go. This see it. This was good. I see, love this game. You see it. A Camino with a temp tag really made my day. Right. It's the best. Yeah. That's ambitious right there. Fly high. Right. Fly high. Fly yeah. Far. You do you buddy. You do you. Dave, what do, we, what do we say we get you to bed? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What do you say we get me to editing the show and posting it tonight? <laughs> Don't do that. Do it tomorrow. It's fine. Yeah. No, gonna... <laughs> so everybody, we did, we done did a car show. We did lots of cars in it. Yeah. Yeah. We um, almost talked about everything cars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, you should uh, subscribe and the liking and the following and the emailing and the calling 720-515-1391. There you go. There you go. If you see a vanity plate, uh, let us know. Yeah. Snap a picture and send it to us on the, uh, over the, over the text message or uh, email at uh, apex adjacent at gmail.com. Yep. There we go. Tweet it at us. Apex adjacent. Yep. Um, we love you, everyone. We do. We do. Stay safe. Go have a track day. Update your garage. <laughs> do all the things that we do, like assault people by taking pictures of them in their cars. And they wonder, why does anyone care about my train's license? <laughs> Remember that look that guy gave me with the TRD stickers on his door? I think about that all the time. Man. <laughs> I think about that all the time. The best. All right. <sighs> Okay. okay, we're gonna get you, murdered everyone. someday. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, we love we love we love you, everybody. Good night.